Monday morning in Simpsonville, South Carolina. We came down for a time at uh, Temple Baptist, uh, both to teach a Sunday school class and also to help the Sunday school leadership. Uh, we'll be headed back up to the mountains shortly. I recently uh, read an interesting article that said, uh, help wanted, pointer needed. And uh, here's exactly what the job description reads. Wanted, young man to serve in a position reporting directly to the king. No pay, no housing, locusts and wild honey available for food but not provided. Applicant must be willing to work long hours, face fierce opposition, and grave dangers. If successful in meeting these stringent requirements, applicant service will soon draw large crowds, point to someone else, step aside, and die by the chopping off of his head. Well, I wonder how many people would apply for such a job. But that's exactly what John the Baptist did. He not only applied for the job, but he got the job. His parents were Zachariah and Elizabeth. Uh, they were very old when he was born. He was a nonconformist, but his coming was foretold in the prophecy of Isaiah. He was a young preacher. He was calling people to repent, to turn from their sins because the kingdom of God was at hand. He wasn't terribly tactful. As a matter of fact, he called some of his audience a brood of vipers. To tax gatherers, he told them to quit the corruption. And although he gained great popularity amongst the general populace, and many were coming to him, his responsibility, you remember, was to step aside. His personality was one of humbleness. Uh, you see, he was a person who said he was not the Christ. He was not Elijah or a prophet. As a matter of fact, if you were to paraphrase today what John the Baptist said about himself, is he would say, I'm a nobody. I'm just a voice crying in the wilderness to make straight the way of the Lord. He says, I'm not even worthy of the unbuckling of his sandals. That's how humble John was. He was persecuted, uh, not because he was sinful, but because he called sin, sin, and he didn't care about being politically correct. So much so that Herodias so hated him because he called sin, sin, that she had him beheaded. Personality humble, preacher who called it like it was, always persecuted, living off the land, not an easy job. But most important of all, his main responsibility was to be a pointer. And in John 1.29, he says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He turned his own disciples to Jesus. He pointed them to Jesus and said, He's the one that's worthy of following. I'm just a voice crying in the wilderness. Now you say, well, there's no way I would want a job like that. There's no way that I would want to be like John the Baptist. Yet every one of us should envy him and want to be like him. You see, when Jesus spoke of John the Baptist in Matthew chapter 11, verse 11, he said, no one born of woman is greater than John the Baptist. We need more pointers in this world. We need people that aren't afraid to call sin, sin. Those that are willing to stand up no matter what the cost. Those that will call people to repentance so that their life might become abundant lives in Christ. Those that are willing to be humble, not haughty. Not pointing, themselves, pointing to themselves and growing in popularity themselves, but pointing people to Jesus. That's your thought for the day. God bless you. Have a great day.